Good morning, gamesters. It is another day in this lovely city. Now, I've just rolled out of bed, and I'm thinking, how can I get a game loop up and running as quickly as possible? Like in the most insanely inhuman amount of time known to man. What are the steps that I need to do in order to accomplish that? Step one, of course, is to grab a coffee. Step two. Uh... Hey, look, it's Tang Tan. Hi, Tan Tan. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> yeah, we really can't sustain those lowers of energy all day. <laughs> it's been open Visual Studio 2019, mate. The anti malware service executable is but I've got like 12% CPU and it's fucking up my day. Does anyone know how to like stop that from happening? All right, what do I, what do I need to do? Getting more seats. How? This is where I'm at so far, by the way. So I need to figure out a way of, uh, once this has grown and you've plucked everything, you now need to restart and like, ah, uh, okay. So we can just go over here, press E and then it'll get trimmed back into a seed and then it has a chance of duplication. Yeah. Alrighty, I've got my work cut out for me. Uh, the first step is gonna be getting the plants trimmed down. So let's get cracking on that. All right, so here's a little bit of an important thing that just happened and I thought I'd share it with you because it's something that uh, very commonly happens around these parts. I was gonna start work on this task, but then I was like, huh, how about I check Discord first? Let's like go in, do a bit of scrolling on the Discord. Oh, wow, cool, yeah, ooh. And then like, just reflexively, I went straight into my browser and I was like, bang, this is bad. And it's not like, oh, just don't do it. No, let's take it a step further, okay? We've got uBlock Origin installed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that bad boy and no more Twitter. <laughs> Suck my dick, you fucking endless feed piece of shit. So this is becoming one big giant clusterfuck of state. If you're an original gangster, you'll recall in the last game that I made, we dove a little bit into coroutines and this is kind of like a solution to the absolute state garbage that we've got going on at the moment. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go hit Jim. That's right, Jim, you better fucking run. <laughs> Shit, bro, they killed McCasey Nasdaq. Keep this. Oh, look at the hole. For all y'all Buenos Aires locals, you'll be pleased to know that I've graduated from eating Luigi's. To Mr. Cook. Not a massive leap in quality, but a step up. It's no guerin, let's uh, put it that way. This is literally all my diets and cysts off, by the way. These, I'm not know how to pronounce it. Alfajo. <laughs> no hablo espanol. Empanadas and pizza. AKA the diet of kings. All of that, all in all, eight Australian dollars. It is absurd. I would honestly call that the most successful gym sesh in uh, ever. Feeling fucking huge, cunt. Nothing quite beats the feeling of finishing all your errands for the day, coming home and just stripping down butt naked and getting some programming done. Co-routine time, baby. That's way too hot, I'm not gonna sip that. Okie dokie, co-routines are in. Massive shout out to Andrew in the Ryan's Discord for providing the example. Uh, what he's basically done is taken this article that I was talking about the other day and uh, just turned it into 10 lines of code for co-routines in C. It's extremely portable, compile everywhere. Literally just uses a uh, absolutely evil switch statement trick in the best way possible. <laughs> so I've got my co-routine here. If we run this bad boy, first balls, wait two seconds, second balls. Oh yeah, baby. I don't really have an idea for how I can turn this entire thing into a co-routine, but I'm gonna try my best to figure it out. Just gonna look through these resources again. The uh, nice example that Randy Gall has got here and hopefully figure something out because uh, this is an absolute mess. So yeah, I will see you 
right this very second with the power of editing. Okay, so I have taken this big old, big old dumpster fire, right, and turned it into this lovely piece of code. Now, it's a little tricky to write them because they kind of go against everything you learn when programming. But the easiest way I've found to write them is first just list off the bunch of steps in like sequential order of what you want to have happen, right? And then you just go do those steps. So the coroutine begins and we basically wait until we have a hovered entity, the player has pressed E and that hovered entity is interactable, all right? And then we move on to the next step. We pick up the hovered interactable. And then we move on to the next step. We wait until the player has pressed E again. And then we move on to the next step. If the held entity that we have is a seed, then we'll place down a plant. If it isn't a seed, it's just like a regular thing, then we'll just absolutely eat it. And then we move on to the next step. We reset and it uh, just goes straight back to the start next time. So over here, this whole coroutine gets entered every single frame right here. And then after this, we've just got some update stuff that happens. So we draw the placement guide for the seed, update the position, all that kind of stuff, making it stick in the hand of the player. So that really simple cookbook has taken this absolute bird's nest of if statements and else's and it's just, it's just all kinds of messed up. It's achieved natively in C with uh, macros. I'm really starting to believe that C can do absolutely everything. Anyway, so we're back to square one. If we run this bad boy, then we've got this whole thing uh, acting as normal. Boop. <laughs> I'll leave a link down to the source in the description, of course. Again, big thanks to Andrew for taking the work to take that article and translate it into those macros. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, so now that I know that my hard work won't be rewritten with coroutines because we just rewrote them with coroutines, uh, it's time to extend this bad boy and actually continue on with gameplay. Four hours later and we are done. So we place down a seed. Whoop. There we go. And that right there is a loop of the game. The most primitive and basic version of it. That feels good. Oh, all right, so I managed to bake down the logic for the interaction even further. You'll notice that we're literally just calling out to this coroutine now, so it's all done in the coroutine. The last time I had the rendering going on outside here, I pulled it into here, so now it just gets run like this, which is very dandy. It's really just such a massive shift in the way that I think about programming, but once it's there, it's there. And it's like the state is now becoming implicit in like where we are in the coroutine, which is really cool. So we're only really drawing the line when we're in this state of, we haven't pressed the left click yet. We're waiting to do it down here, right? So it's just running this while loop, waiting for the left mouse to be pressed. And I'm just doing that over and over and over and over again. And then once it is pressed, we create a plant and we destroy the held entity. And then we call it a day and we're done. Uh, so that's the seed. Then if it's a plant that we're interacting with, and the plant interaction happens when there is no more resources hanging on the thing. If we hit that, then it's gonna snip snip and destroy the plant, spawn a new seed. That's that whole thing right there. Now, if we are interacting with a resource, boop, so we've interacted with that bad boy, and now we are just running this while loop here, uh, which literally just takes the entity's position and velocity and all that kind of stuff and just matches it to the player, which is how we're making it held. And as soon as we press E and get out of that loop, we clear it from being held and we add some velocity, make it a rigid body. Bada bing, bada boom, that is state done and dusted, baby. Oh, yeah. man, it, it just, it, it really does read like poetry. I love coroutines. All right, that is the work done for the day. Push that bad boy up. Oh, another day done and dusted. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe.